Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Jad. This is episode 6 of the 2 over 1 series. This episode explains minor suit rebids by the opener after a 2 over 1 game force bid. This will complete our examination of rebids by the opener. Let's start with a new board. This is board T22. You are the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 15 high card points and one long point for a total of 16 points. You have two doubletons, so your hand is semi balanced. And you have two biddable suits, spades and diamonds. You apply the rules for opening the bidding. You bid one spade. West passes. Partner bids two clubs, and East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid is a two over one game force. It shows 13 or more points and four or more clubs. You apply the rules you learned in the previous two episodes. First, you look for a major suit bid. Partner bid a minor suit, so you can't bid partner's major suit. The only unbid major suit is hearts, but your hearts are not biddable. And you have only five spades, so you can't rebid them. You next consider a no trump bid, but your hand is not balanced. With major suit and no trump bids ruled out, you need to consider minor suit bids. The first rule with minor suits is, if you have an unbid minor suit, which is biddable, you should bid it. Always make such a bid at the lowest possible level. Your diamonds meet the requirement. You bid two diamonds. It's worth noting that the priority for minor suit bids is different from that of major suits. With major suits, the priority is to look for a fit. But with minor suits, you bid a new suit even if you have a fit. This is done to see if a no trump contract is viable. Now, let's look at another board. This is board T23. You are the dealer. Here is your hand. Your hand is identical to the previous board, so you make an opening bid of one spade. West passes, partner bids two diamonds, and East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid is a two over one game force. It shows 13 or more points and four or more diamonds. As with the previous board, you cannot make a major suit bid or a no trump bid. You apply the first rule for making a minor suit bid. You need an unbid minor suit which is biddable. The only unbid minor suit is clubs but your clubs are not biddable. You need to apply the second rule of minor suits. With a fit, you should bid partner's minor suit. Partner's bid promised four or more diamonds. Your hand also has four, so you know you have a diamond fit. You bid partner's suit as cheaply as possible. You bid three diamonds. You have told partner that a diamond contract is viable, but partner may have three spades, so a spade fit is still possible. Playing in the minor suit will always be your last resort. Now, let's look at another board. This is board T24. 
you are the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 16 high card points and two long points for a total of 18 points. With two doubletons, your hand is semi-balanced and you have only one biddable suit, diamonds. You open the bidding with one diamond and West passes. Partner bids two clubs and East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid is a two over one game force. It shows 13 or more points and four or more clubs. Partner bid a minor suit and your only biddable suit is diamonds. This means that you cannot make a major suit bid. Your hand is not balanced, so you can't make a no trump bid. You apply the minor suit rebid rules. Both minor suits have been bid, so there is no unbid minor. And you don't have a fit with partner's minor suit. You need a new rule. The third rule for minor suits is, with six or more diamonds, rebid them as cheaply as possible. Note that this situation can only occur when you open one diamond and partner bids two clubs. Your hand meets this new requirement. You bid two diamonds. Your partnership has not yet agreed on a strain, but you have a great deal of bidding room to do so. Now that you know the three rules of minor suit rebids, let's look at another board. This is board T25. You are the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 14 high card points and one long point for a total of 15 points. With two doubletons, your hand is semi-balanced and you have two biddable suits, hearts and clubs. You apply the rules and open the bidding with one heart. West passes, partner bids two diamonds and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid is a two over one game force. It shows 13 or more points and four or more diamonds. You apply the rebid rules. Once again, you have no major suit bids and cannot bid no trump. You apply the minor suit rules. You have an unbid minor. Your club suit is biddable and has not yet been bid. You follow the rule and bid clubs as cheaply as possible. You bid three clubs. The strain of the contract is not yet set. Your three club bid has used a great deal of bidding room, but you are still below game level. I need to add a note of caution here. Some players will not bid three clubs with this hand. They require a stronger hand and will bid two no trump instead. My personal view is that this compromises the two no trump bid. And the three club bid works well, provided you remember that it doesn't promise more strength. I also have one final note before ending this video. In two over one, it is also possible for opener to make use of a splinter bid as a rebid, although this is quite rare. I'll be making a video about splinter bids in the future, which will explain how to use them. It will be part of the extension series. This video was the third and final episode on rebids by opener after a two over one game force. It looked at rebids in a minor suit.
Thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that Bridge is for everyone.